All right, we're standing in front of the jungle, but we're gonna get a cut. We're gonna make it look a lot better. Um, it's the first service of the year, and that's uh, that's really all that needs to be said. So, hope you enjoy it. What's going on, man? I am glad you are here for another video. In this one, we're gonna be knocking down an overgrown lawn. Uh, this was the first cut of the year. I'm not sure what the situation was, whether their lawn care, lawn care guy bailed or whether they were cutting it themselves and just kind of gave up on it. Not 100% sure, but there will be a part two to this video where we're actually cutting the backyard. Now, as you can see, we had to use a weed eater on the backyard. Um, that was just for the first cut, so it was quite a nightmare. Um, that video, I will post a link in the description as soon as I get it up. All right, now let's go ahead and just get into this job at hand. Uh, we're gonna have a little cameo here from my daughter, Madison. Madison, say hi. Hi. Okay. So tell them what you're seeing in this video here. Uncle James. Uncle James is blowing off the concrete here, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, so what we wanted to do on this job is we wanted to blow all this stuff back into the lawn because that's going to make it to where we can clean it up with the mower. So we didn't want to leave it on the concrete until afterwards and then clean it up because it would have just made a mess, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So then I'm going to come in and I'm going to use a weed eater. I'm going to clean up the cracks, you know. Did you actually finish that lawn? Absolutely. So we're going to watch a video on it right now. But I'm weed eating and when I'm weed eating, I've got the weed eater head tilted away from me so that the rocks and debris don't hit my legs because that would hurt, huh? Yeah. yeah. I also got to be careful not to shoot anything into a window because I don't want to break a window because that's yeah. expensive. All right, so now I'm coming through and I'm edging it and I'm making it look pretty. And while I'm doing that, Uncle James is blowing everything onto the lawn. That way the mowers will shred it up just like they will the grass. That's so small that no one will see it. That's right. Yeah, and it'll fall yeah. down in the turf. And no one will feel it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to weed eat around everything. It's real tall and nasty right now. But this lawn looks pretty now. It's been several cuts. But we're going to come around. I'm weed eating around the fence. Uncle James is still blowing everything whole, out. Did you finish that whole lawn in one day? Yeah. Yeah, we actually uh, we finished it in about an hour, hour and a half, somewhere in that range. Do you oh. know how much money Daddy made off that job? Hmm. I charged $250 for that job. That's a lot. Well, if you say it is. Two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty dollars, because it was so high. See, when people wait for a long time a and they let it get though. tall and it's a lot of work, I had That's to charge more. I only count to a hundred. Do you want to tell all the people that are watching where we're going? We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. So which we're gonna is, go. We're gonna go dip our toes in the ocean, huh? Yeah, which is really far away from our house. Tell them about it. But. Our house that we're gonna be singing in. If the beach is closed and we can't go in it, or if we leave and we still want to play in it, the water, then we can because we have a pool. Yeah, it's gonna have a pool there. Are you looking forward to walking on the beach and finding some seashells? Yeah, and clams. And clams? You're gonna try looking for some clams? What about, uh, are you looking forward to eating some seafood? No! You don't, you don't like shrimp? Oh, I like shrimp, yeah. Have you ever tried lobster? No. Oh, it's yummy. We're gonna have to try it out. It's like a shrimp, but way bigger. Alright, you wanna tell everybody bye? Bye! So thank you for, uh, having me on, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for having my dad on. What's that? <laughs> I love you, Angel. Okay, so I was working on making this video before we left on our vacation. Uh, we did go to the beach. We went down to Galveston Island. It was wonderful. It was kind of like a, a little impromptu vacation and uh, kind of a, a birthday present to our daughter as well. Um, I'm working on this, and it's July 2nd. July 3rd is my daughter's birthday, and that's when I'll be putting this video out. So if you could say in the comments below, happy birthday to her, that would be wonderful. And that way I can show her, because she does look at our videos, and it's entertaining to her. Um, 
you know, she didn't really watch a lot of my videos, but she does like the ones that she's in. You know, it makes it feel really good. So I'm going to go ahead and get on and talk about the job, but I appreciate everybody sticking around and listening to my daughter because I know that might not be something that you enjoy, but it's something that I don't want to cut out. So I appreciate it. All right, so right here, you're seeing James cleaning up that curb line, and it's a mess. You know, we've got two or three years worth of stuff, if not more, um, built up. So he's got to get that on the lawn. I'm going over the lawn, knocking everything down. So I'm actually cutting at transport height, which is the highest setting you can have on your deck. Now, whenever I'm cutting tall grass, what I like to do is, one, a perimeter pass, shooting everything inward, and sometimes two passes, and that's going to keep the debris off the fence while you're weed eating. And then I'll either go back and forth like this, if I can feel that the mower can handle it without bogging down. So like right here, I killed the, the mower with these leaves that were built up uh, they were so thick and wet and left there from last year that it actually just killed my mower anyways so if I feel that it it's not gonna bog down my mower too much then I'll go back and forth but if I know that it's gonna be uh, too thick for the mower to handle I always shoot outward passes and what that's gonna do is it's gonna kick the debris out you're not gonna be going back over that so when you're going back and forth like this, if you shoot the grass clippings into the grass that you're about to cut, then the mower has to work twice as hard cutting the grass that it already cut. So if it can handle it back and forth, if not, then we do circles pointing outwards, then I cut it back and forth. In this scenario, I chose to uh, cut it the way I did, but I'm gonna cut it multiple times. So we started on transport height, James is getting all of this debris. You know, you saw him shoveling it into the lawn. Now he's actually blowing it out to the lawn. That's so the mower can pick it up. So we're on the second mowing pass now. I cut it one way. I'm going to cut it a different way. This is for distribution of the material that's in the lawn. So, you know, the grass clippings that are left, I want to spread those out. Uh, we are going to use um, the blower at the end of the job to blow anything that's left. But the, the point of cutting the second time is so that you're not leaving stragglers. And when you first cut and you're cutting a tall, thick lawn, you'll have a very thick blanket of mulched up material uh, from the grass clippings. And you can kind of see that on there now. Each time that I go over that, that'll get a little less and a little less and more distributed. Um, sometimes when it's really wet and nasty, all you're doing is tossing it from here to there here to there and you just kind of got to weigh out what methods best for you in this scenario I thought it was dry enough that I can probably just kick it around I'm gonna mulch it and do a few passes that way so this starts the third pass on this lawn that we're doing uh, I'm gonna come in at angles on this one and it doesn't really doesn't really matter it's not about striping a lawn or making it look pretty so I'm not keeping lines to make it look pretty we're getting this back in shape and that's really what matters here now I knew it was too thick over there where James is using the blower I knew it was gonna be way too thick for me to be able to mulch it up like I said and make it disperse completely so you know how I was saying it'll just toss it from one side to the other that's the situation I had over there and I still kind of had it even after he blew it out some for me he was just distributing it so it was a thinner material or I guess not laying as thick on the lawn but you know ultimately pass number four made this look pretty sharp I'm pretty sure I come in for a pass number five I'm not not 100% sure let's check it out uh, am I going to do it yep I'm going to do it pass number five and you know that's what it takes to uh, make things look good so you know ultimately I want to give my client what they're paying for and they're paying me to make the property look good again I don't bag lawns so in this kind of scenario I'm gonna spend a little extra time doing this and the upside is I'm not hauling off a bunch of material so you know you could you could do this multiple ways so you could shoot it all outward and then shoot it inward and um, tarp it up and haul it away you could mulch it up like I am and distribute it across the lawn which 
I prefer, I'm not saying that's the best method, but I prefer that. Or you could bag it up, which would be a nightmare trying to just bag right away. You'll want to cut it, then come over and bag it afterwards. Don't try to bag while you're cutting ridiculously tall grass. It's not going to be very effective at all. And that's all stuff that I've done in the past. So what do you guys think? Is that better? I think so. So, what's left? We'll have to blow off the trees. We'll have to fan out the grass a little more. It's pretty damp up here, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the backyard, which looks way worse than the front. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Let's get to that.